สวัสดีครับ and hello welcome back to my channel driving in Thailand I'm Jeff in today's brief video I wanted to give you information regarding the international drivers permit whether you're in Thailand already or thinking about coming and thinking about possibly renting a motor scooter or an automobile the international drivers permit is the document that you will need to legally drive in Thailand you will need a valid driver's license from your country along with the international drivers permit showing the endorsement be it scooter automobile or both for the vehicle that you plan on renting here if you're planning on renting a motor scooter in Thailand you would need to have a motorcycle endorsement on your driver license from your home country if you're going to drive an automobile in Thailand legally on the international driver permit you would need the automobile endorsement which would be reflected from your home country driver license again to legally drive I know many people come to Thailand without the international driver permit and many vendors uh, will rent you a car or scooter without the IDP international driver permit with these two documents your home license and a passport and you can move about Thailand as you wish but should you come up upon a police checkpoint or be pulled over for whatever reason you will be asked for your license and if you do not have the international drivers permit more than likely you are going to receive a ticket and have to pay probably 400 baht the international drivers permit is overseen by the United Nations and 95% of international drivers permits that are issued are issued under two conventions specifically the 1949 Geneva Convention and the 1968 Vienna Convention you must be 18 years of age to receive this document and you cannot uh, receive an international driver's permit with a learner's permit. Your country's automobile association, be it the Australian Automobile Association, the AAA, the America Automobile Association, again AAA, Canadian Automobile Association, the European Automobile Association, contact that association where you're from, get the details. When I received my IDP in 2018, the cost at that time was $20 US. I suspect it may be 25, 30 at this point. But check the fees and also you will need to take uh, your driver license from home country along with your money take two passport photos and depending on uh, the backload the administrative backload of your association uh, you might receive your IDP with why you wait it might take a day or two maybe a week but again to drive legally here in Thailand should you choose to rent a scooter or an automobile you will need this international driver permit. Here is a sample of an international driving permit. I received this in 2018 from America. In the top right corner, you can see the fee at that time was $20. And it was valid for one year from March 1, 2018. Now, the IDPs can be renewed, but they do need to be renewed from your home country. When you open the document, 
you will see uh, the first page on the right has all of the classification endorsements. The first one is motorcycles with or without a sidecar, category A, and then category B is for automobiles, C is automobiles, probably passenger vehicles, and then D and E you get into your commercial tractor trailers, uh, your commercial vehicles and lorries. Here, when I went for my IDP, I did not have a motorcycle endorsement in America, but coming to Thailand, I knew I was gonna rent a bike and I wasn't, I had an idea I might be driving illegal, but I wanted to get this document regardless. So for me, when I took my license, it only had the automotive endorsement. Here, category B was checked and stamped by my American AAA. If you have an endorsement, motorcycle and automotive, your automobile association will then endorse both A and B. And when you come to Thailand with this document, you should have no trouble whatsoever. As you move through this document, it is written in many, many uh, languages. English, Spanish, Russian, Chinese, Italian, German, Arabic, French, and several others. This document, again, um, is overseen by the United Nations and is recognized in over 150 countries globally. It is a great document or so, uh, source of identification uh, in addition to having your passport or driver's license, it does act as another form of international recognized uh, identification. On the very back page uh, is where you would put your passport photo, sign off, and that would complete this document. Again, you can drive in Thailand without this. You're not legal, uh, but you can drive. Uh, but should you go into a police checkpoint or get pulled over, you can expect to have a conversation with the police and probably end up receiving a ticket and having to pay a fine with I hope you have found the IDP information helpful and if so click on the like icon and share and also subscribe for receiving future videos on my driving in Thailand series from Pattaya Thailand this is Jeff have a good day